Hello, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make multiple nodes with sprites and collisions out of a single tile set image. Now normally you would use a tile map node to do this, but I found that anything the character is not completely over, like the grass and the background, it's more difficult to try to figure out how to get trees and taller objects to um, render properly, like in front or in back. So to start, create a new resource in the top left of the inspector window, and it's going to be an atlas texture because clearly it takes part of the texture and makes a new image out of it so that's what I want click on that now pop in your tile set map image here I put all my uh, game assets in a separate folder that are imported just to help me keep track of things and there it is now it should pop up in this little window down here and right now it doesn't look like much but if you go up here to the top left it's a snap mode I usually use grid snap, it's the easiest for me to separate things out. And depending on your uh, tile map image, you gotta adjust the size. I got a 16 by 16, so I'll do that now. Hit en 16, yeah. 16, hit enter. Now go find part of the tile map that you want to use for an object. And then this tree looks like a good one right here. All four squares. Click and drag it over, and it looks good. So I'll click on save. I'm just going to call it a tall tree resource. And I'm going to pop it in a folder. There. Now to finish the uh, whole node up here, go to new scene. And since most of my items in this world are going to be static, I'm just going to do a static 2D, static body 2D. Now add your new resource you just made. Uh, scenes, environment, nature, tall tree resource. So there it is. Add a collision for it. I like the simple collision shape. And I think a rectangle box would do just fine. And oh, move this to the origin here. And there's an important part. Well, reset button's nice. That's what the little arrow's for. This needs to be in a proper location. So if you're using the Y sort node, the origin, a little dot in the center there, tells you where it's going to um, sort by. So move the collision shape in this up. Let me adjust the collision shape a little bit just so it hits the bottom of the stump. And of course, you can adjust this later easily because it's a uh, separate scene that's being instanced later on. So all the trees will update once you find out that there's something a little weird with it. And the shadow doesn't really count. I want it right there for the Y sort. That should do just fine. So save this. The folder should be fine. Tall tree. Now go back to your main world and test it out. And here's the uh, best part about using separate objects. You can use the Y sort node. So let's add a Y sort node. And instance my tree that we just made. There it is. Click and drag that somewhere in the world. Usually having the uh, grid snap up here turned on is helpful. Keep things aligned. Let's make a few more of these. Control D a few times to duplicate. And you can see already it's doing the Y sort in the editor just fine, so that's nice. And that should do it. And don't forget, gotta drag the body, your character into the Y sort, otherwise it'll do nothing. Because it sorts everything under all its children get sorted properly. Test the scene out real quick just to prove it. And there we go. And I have collisions turned on to help debug. You can turn those on and off pretty easily in the code. And it looks pretty natural. And here's the <laughs> old attempt. Well, I moved to character so it doesn't do it anymore, but yeah. That's all inside the tile map node. 
not the easiest thing. Much easier just to plop separate items onto your world and use Y sort. And just keep on adding all the items. Might take a little time, but it's worth it. And that's it for this video.